Hey guys, welcome to another JBS Garage video. Do me a favour, just quickly hit that subscribe button now before we carry on. And I'll show you guys how you can take out your state of remindings from your own YVR engine or 5VL engine. Let's get into it. So, here it is, here's the engine. Um, first things first, you want to disconnect your wire and loom from your bike. So you'll have a, these wires here, if you have a YVR 125, could be different from another bike. And then you want to get this wire here and you want to remove that from down there and that is your neutral switch down there it's a little crosshead bolt like that and just remove that as soon as you've done that this is a very easy job today you want to get your eight mil ratchet you want to crack these off in a star pack and then as soon as you've done this you just want to get your extension and you want to go through and you want to twiddle them all off So I think what I've noticed is, I don't think I've noticed the longer bolts. So, I've removed all the bolts from the engine now. Um, if it's a bit stuck, you may want to use a rubber mallet or something just to give it a tap all the way around to loosen it off. But then you just grab the little tabs and you give it a wiggle. And see, this, this, this one is a bit different to the clutch side, if you've seen that video, because after you wiggle it off two or three mil to get around to the standy day, you actually have to kind of hold it there. Because of the big old magnetic flywheel in here and these stator windings, it actually wants to pull itself together shut all the time. It just wants to slam shut on your hands. So, you've got to be careful, try and get it in a position where it's stable, and go through with your razor blade, and make sure the gasket stays on one side, whether it's the engine block side or the casing side. Does not matter, this is your magneto casing. So, doesn't matter. And then after you've done that, you need to grab it firmly with both hands, and get a nice firm pull and wiggle because if you just try and do it too gently it will not come so now there's my gasket in one piece and then put that to one side and then just make sure my wires are all free and then I pull them off and boom that is your state of winding now it seems pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory here what i'm going to do now is going to remove these allen head bolts remove those allen head bolts and then i'm going to slide this rubber out I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. So the first tool I've got here is my 4mm Allen key. I'm going to just stick that in and oh, a little bit tight. So I'm going to use a little bit of extra leverage. I'm going to stick it up here so you guys can see. Uh, oh, this is actually really tight. And then, just one by one, you want to undo these bolts. Ridiculously tight the whole way out for some reason. Bolt number two. I'm going to crack off bolt number three now as well, quick. Now, for this last one, I'm not actually going to remove it the entire way yet. I'm just going to get it started. Nearly there. Right. That's started to a good amount. Because that's quite heavy, I don't want that dropping out whilst I'm undoing the other bits. So I'm going to undo them now first. Now I'm going to uh, crack this one off here for the pickup. Oh, that's quite tight. That is very, very tight. See, I have not had this apart before, whereas the clutch and everything I have. Just to give it for testing purposes, so... This is the first time I've actually undone this since buying this engine the other day. So I've had this engine less than a week now. And we're just going through and inspecting everything to do with it. Now this bolt is very tight. This is dangerously tight. Right, 
guys. So this, this is where you start coming into problems. If I carry on with undoing this, we're going to need a new uh, magneto case. That bolt I'm trying to undo right now isn't moving. I've, it's been turning, but it's not coming up, which means the threads are completely stripped behind there. And I do not have the tools to fix that right now. So unfortunately, I physically, personally, cannot go through with removing these. But I can show you exactly what to do. Down here is a piece of rubber. That just pulls up like that, and that frees off the wires. So that is easy to do. And as soon as you've done that, you'd undo them to there. There's a Phillips head underneath you have to undo with a spring. And that spring just holds the wires underneath so that when the flywheel's spinning around here, it doesn't damage it. So you want to carefully remove all of that, carefully remove that bolt, and that is it completely off. And then it's the complete opposite to reassemble it. So let's go for that now. So imagine I've just done these back up. Just put that back in. I'm going to see if I can do that back up at all, see if them threads grip that direction. If not, it's just going to... Now that's extremely tight, that doesn't want to move. So I'm just going to put one, two, three back in. Fairly simple now, just put in bolts back in. Oh, not as hard as I ever thought, because you just thought that was ridiculous. But still, as hard as you can, hand tight kind of thing. Nice and hard. So that's that. Everything's put back together now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this. Well, I'll show you what to do actually. These pins, one of them's stuck in the clutch case, one of them's stuck in there. I don't have pliers right now. So what you do is you get your gasket, you line it up as best you can on whatever dowel is left in the engine. And then as you come up to the engine with your new piece, slash your old piece, just whatever your clutch casing is, whether it's new or old, you just want to gently pull it around, line that gasket up with the dowel. And as soon as it's lined up, because it's the magnetic one, it literally sucks itself in. I did not put any force really into putting that casing back on. So now that that's like that, you just want to, well there is one short bolt, I do not know where this short bolt came from but I'm pretty sure it was there, and it was there, because that fits perfectly. So then if you have a shorter bolt, that's the hole it goes in. The rest are all the same length, so I'll just show you that now. Get them all started. By hand. You always want to start bolts by hand. I'm just going to strip them in. Oh, I forgot one vital thing for the beginning. If you've watched this video all the way through and you've just got to this point and you uh, you probably would have noticed by now, I never told you to remove the sprocket cover. Yeah, I forgot about that. But there are two bolts there you have to undo for the sprocket cover. Sorry about that. Should have said that at the very beginning of the video, but it's too late now. It is what it is. Now I'm just going to need to pay if you don't have any cross you end up back on the bolt you started on with every single bolt up. Now, once they're all in, you want to put your 8mm ratchet back on and you just do them up. This one here has got a bit of a gasket on it, it's like liquid gasket, so this one takes a little bit longer. As it just wasn't thread in by hand. Do that one up. Now, the cross pattern, I'm going to here. Cross pattern, I'm going to here. And that is that. Now you have successfully removed or replaced or whatever your state of windings in your YBR. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, because the more you do that, the more I can get a new following, the more I can get views, and the quicker we're turboing this engine. So please just subscribe, hit that like, share this video on Facebook, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.